What's up guys, Shane here at 3D Printing and today we're going to check out some PLA from a company called 3D Printworks. Welcome back guys. So uh, 3D Printworks contacted me via Instagram of all places and asked me if I'd like to try out some of their filament. I've been following them on Instagram. They post a lot of photos of prints that they're doing and things they're working on. It's a very small company. And I said, sure, I would love to try it out. You know, um, they have all of their social media listed here on a bag that they send you in order to put your filament in, which is really nice. And the bag comes preloaded with some silica packets inside so that it's, you can seal your filament in here and it'd be clear. I do have a letter here from them, which I'm going to open up. I have not read this yet. It is addressed to me. And here it is. So. He initially sent this on 31 January. It is now March. I received this at the end of February. So what's well, now April actually, it's now April. So I'm a little bit behind on this one. I apologize, Duncan, but I will get this to out very soon. All right, so I didn't tell him what I wanted. I just said, sure, I'll try out some of your filament. And the letter is, hi Shane, I have chosen a reel of our Snow White 1.75 millimeter PLA filament that we would be grateful for you to review. For more information about this product, I would refer you to our website. We want our customers to know what materials they're working with and so, working with, and so we provide all this information on our website. Gives the URL, I'll put that down below so you guys can check it out as well. If you can link our website, obviously I would do that in the video. He's also sending a sample of Vanish, our BOH-based soluble support filament. Vanish is designed to be dissolved in water and is biodegradable. It can safely be washed down the sink when you are finished. Like all filaments, it has its own preferred operating settings. To help you get started, please visit Vanish.Zone website and go to their printer setting page for full details. We recommend you use all these settings to begin with and only tweak them once you have used the material. And. They could ask me if I want to send some more. He gives me his email. Looking forward to see how you get on. Kind regards, Duncan. And he is part of digital marketing for 3D Print Works. So thank you, Duncan. And inside here, we have, oh, that's cool. So another little envelope here. 3D Print Works color swatches. And when you open it up, it has all the different colors of their filament right there for you to check out. So they have, I'm not going to go through all the colors, but we've got 16 different colors here that you can check out. It's about a one inch little stick of it. And they talk about the vanish. Well, where is this vanish at? Well, let's set this all here. So here looking at the box, I'm assuming vanish is in here. Well, I haven't even opened it yet. But it says ELE filament, PLA 1.75 millimeter, 750 grams, and it is snow white, plain, clear filament box with a window on the side. So. They send a little uh, card here for the Vanish filament so that you can get the information for it. And here we have, this is our, oh, so this is Pine Green PLA, a little sample of that in here. Oh, there's a few other here, okay. And then here we have Passionate Purple PLA. So there's that. And then we have the PLA 1.75 millimeter in Snow White. All right, I am a little confused. I don't see the Vanish filament here at all. It's not in the bag, all right? It's not in the, yeah, it's not in the bag. I think, I think it got lost or didn't make it. I don't know. I'll have to email him. I wish I would have checked this like a month ago and told him about it, but that's okay. I'll work out with him later and maybe get to try that out. So there's Passionate Purple PLA here as a sample. And there is some pine green PLA here as a sample. And again, we have the snow white. So let's check this out. I need a knife. Ah. All right, so we have a decent sized silica pack in there. Lots of those around now. It's a very simple spool design. It says PLA 1.75 millimeter snow white there in the corner. It is a fully injection molded spool. So there's no wiggle in it. The wind is decent. It's, it's uh, very tight, kind of here, not much of it moves, a little bit moves, but not very much at all. It has a, it definitely has a rougher finish to it. Not, not a lot, but just a little bit there. And it's just tucked here in a standard holes here on the side. It bends well. So yeah, this should be, 
Again, interesting to film it. I have no idea how much this even costs. Again, they just asked me if I wanted to test it out, and I said, yeah. It is 750 grams, so it's a smaller spool. That is one thing to note for everyone. It's very robust, very thick spool. Doesn't bend really at all, so quite the heavy duty spool. Okay, well, uh, I'll see, maybe if I can measure how, how long these are. I can uh, try and test some of those out and see. Uh, maybe I can print a little vase or something out of those, I don't know. But we'll get this on some of the printers, and test it out, I'll be right back with the results. Oh, you can barely see it, because it's white on the white table, but I'll change that in a second. Uh, this was pretty good filament. I really like the color. It's a very nice, rich white. Um, there is a difference. It's, I know it's hard to tell on the, the video here, but there is definitely a difference between like the white table and the white of this. It does kind of have a little bit of a yellow hint to it when you put it against something such pure, pure white, but it by itself has a nice, almost ivory looking color to it, which I kind of dig. And I think it's really cool for like this skull. I didn't fully pull the support off this one because uh, I ran out of time and I wanted to get this video uh, filmed out here, but it's on there pretty good. I can get a good portion of it off with my fingers, but I'm definitely gonna need to use some tools on the inner portions in here to get it out. But other than that, uh, I think it all came out really nice. Um, I had no real issues, any of the extrusions. The Hypercube was a little weird with it. So I ended up reprinting the my maker coin on the ender as well. But either way, let's take a look up close and see how they turned out. All right, so here's the one that came off the Hypercube and I didn't even take the support off yet. But either way, support, 753D support is so amazing. It literally just pops right off most of the time. Sometimes it gets a little bit tough in these inside corners, but this one, oh, this one's always the tough one. Yeah, I need a, something a little more pointed than my finger to get in here and pull that out. But other than that, I mean, look at that. It took, what, two seconds to pull? All that film, all that uh, support off. But now, focus. This is print of the Hypercube, and it was definitely under extruded. And the walls were a little bit wonky on this. Uh, pretty smooth most of the time, but the top looks under extruded, and the walls look a little too buttery. Like they're smooth, but it's almost too smooth. So, uh, kind of weirdness going on with that. And uh, I, I know this Hypercube because I had this green in there before, and I clearly didn't finish flushing all of it out. Over support did okay, not fantastic though. Although over here on the uh, overhangs, it did actually rather well. And the first layer did just fine. Now let's look at the better one, which is this one here. Again, I didn't take the support off yet because I kind of just want to show how nice and easy it is to get support off of my coin. Because if you have your support set right and the first layer set right and the support setting set right, usually comes off pretty easily. Sometimes I'll have to use a little screwdriver or something. This one I will have to. So it came out pretty well, you know. Not as easy as the other one, but this one also turned out a lot better and this one wasn't under extruded, which also could be why that support came off so easily. Looking here nice and close to it, much better quality print, much better on how smooth it is. The walls are nice and smooth as well. Bottom layers, really nice. Same issues here on the Overhangs here, the, the, uh, the Hypercube does have a little bit better cooling than the Ender 2 does, but overall this is a better print. Uh, I do have this weird Z seam in here that uh, I had because I'm using a different profile and I need to eliminate that. I forgot to use a different profile when I printed this. This prompted me for the other prints, so either way, uh, that's that. Uh, retractions are really good. Uh, I mean, yeah, so the coin came out really well. I also went ahead and printed out a 200% Benchy, which came out really weird. I don't know what happened to this thing, but it came out weird. Walls, really smooth. Retractions, pretty well set in. Bottom layer was good. You can see the CT3D XYZ there. A little bit issues here on the cooling, so it didn't cool quite properly. And then up here, just totally like didn't extrude properly or I don't know what happened up top here but it got funky real quick. And that's what I was greeted to when I came back. Now, this was also printed on the Hypercube. So I made some changes and it came out better than the other one. The extrusions were better, retraction was better, cooling was a little subpar for some reason. And then this up here was just, again, weird. I don't know what happened there, but overall, still a good print. So I went back to the ender with the filament and printed out this wee little tower. Um, it's kind of going up a mountain, it's got a spiral staircase, goes all the way around into it, little courtyard there. And these steps here go down into this tower is hollow up in here as well. But yeah, the first layer, really good. It stuck really well to that blue tack that they have on the printer. 
all these little pieces here came out really nice. Cooling was great. Retraction was great on this one. I, you know, it's kind of hit and miss sometimes when you 3D print things, but the extrusions were great. This ended up taking, I think, what, 12 hours to print. I did slow it down just a smidge to get a little more finer details. This is a 0.15 millimeter layer height as well. Nice, super duper smooth on these mountains and everything. You can see a little bit of the retractions in here. It's really hard to know it's white, uh, but I did use a different profile with better settings, so that turned out much better. So I really like this, and now I want to scale this up and print this huge. Okay, next I went ahead and printed out this spiral vase that I've been printing lately. I really like this one. It's a good kind of test of the filament. Um, the extrusions were super duper consistent all throughout it. It looks great from down at the top. You know, it's got a little bit of flex to it. PLA doesn't have a ton of flex, but just a little bit. Um, yeah, this does not hold water though because there is a little bit of issues right in here that does slightly leak out, but overall it holds it up until there. So I can't really complain about that. Uh, it did pretty well, but I think maybe if I up my extrusion multiplier just like 0 0.01, I could have been able to fill those in and avoided that. Oh, so here we have the, I think this is called the Death Trooper. So it's basically a stormtrooper with this part blasted out and you can see his skull in here. As you can see, I did not finish removing the support. I kind of wanted to show what the support looked like on here. And again, I was a little limited on my time, but most of the filament can be plucked off fairly easily. In some of these areas, it was a little tighter. I actually didn't read if I shouldn't have used support on this at all. Probably could have gotten away with it, but some of these overhangs were pretty massive. But so if I take you know, 20 minutes with a, you know, a very small flathead screwdriver, I'll be able to pluck all of this, this support off and it will look great. I'll make sure that I do that and throw it up on my social media account soon. Uh, you have seen it by the time this video comes out. And just trying to get a little bit there. Yeah, so I'll post that up there and show you what it looks like. It did a little bit of issues down in here. And this was the printer's fault when doing it with support. Once you get past the support, it pretty much was flawless all the way up. The filament was very consistent, filled on the top very well. So, I mean, anything else is the filament issue. This one, I did use the wrong profile again, and I do have this pretty serious Z seam on here. But take a piece of sandpaper on a model this size, that will come off very easily. And most of the bottom, as you can see here, is support. So these two pads right here, the front of the helmet, are the only things that touch. Everything else is all support. So it did really well for printing over that much support. I'm pretty happy about that. And you can kind of see the quality here of what it's like maybe. Uh, I, there's still another layer of support here, the top dense layer that I need to peel off, but it did pretty well. You're not gonna see the bottom anyway, so that's kind of just an issue you have when printing this type of model. So again, I like this, this filament. It turned out really great. You know, there's snow white. Again, I think it is pretty white. Sometimes it looks like it has a little yellow to it. I'm kind of comparing it here to my desk. Uh, on here, it looks really nice. Um, like compared to some other whites, it's a little less white than them. Like this is my AC controller here and it's less white than that. So it is a pretty white white on its own. If you could put up against something else, it might look different. I do really like their spool. I have to say that this is probably one of the like, most robust spools I've ever seen. It's super duper thick. Uh, it's not going anywhere. So I, I really do like that spool design, very sturdy. Not gonna worry about anything happening to this sucker and definitely could reuse this for some other projects if you needed something with a nice firm spool. So yeah, this turned out well, and my disclaimer as usual, this was sent to me by 3D Printworks through Instagram of all places, that's where they hit me up, and I thank them for that, for reaching out to me there. Uh, it was sent to me for free, no money was exchanged, it just asked that I would do a video on it, and I'll do some of the other little bits that they sent me, and I would reach out to him to try to send me some of the other filament that he has. He wanted me to test, it just was not included in this box, which I think we both thought it was, but it's not. That's a different story for a different time. But for now, this video is done. And if you guys enjoyed it, if you think you wanna check this out, I'll put a link to their shop down in the video description. I'm not affiliate link anything like that. There's, I don't have a coupon right now. If I, they do give me one, I'll put it down there. But at least you can go to their website and check it out. That's where you're gonna buy it through. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk to me in the comments. Either way, I'd love to hear from you guys on how I do my filament reviews here. If you guys wanna keep an eye on what's going on, make sure you become a subscriber. Hit that bell icon. That way you get an email notification anytime I upload new content or do a live stream and you're one of the first ones to know when that happens. If you guys wanna support me financially, lots of ways to do that. There's a Patreon link down below if you wanna become one of the monthly squad guys. And if you wanna do a one-time deal, there's some links down for that in the description. Or if you don't want to send any money to me, you just wanna use my affiliate links, there's a bunch of those down below. Update your bookmarks with those, do your daily shopping with that, and a little slice of what you buy comes here and helps out the channel. A little bit goes a long way. So I thank you guys that are already using those. It's a big help. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, happy printing.